walk you through a few of the gifts that we will be making just so you can kind of see what's going to be offered out there. Um, I forgot to mention holiday cards. Um, that's like one of the first ones. So everybody uh, this time of year is calling me because I'm a professional photographer to get some photos done. And I know that the main reason that they usually want to use them is for their holiday card. They want to have something that they can send to their friends to say, yo, we survived this year and it's going well. <laughs> so um, Pin Hill Press does offer a huge variety of holiday cards on very thick paper. I made a billion already. So, and it was really easy. Like I'm going to show you how simple this can be. It's just a matter of selecting photos that will tell a story that have a color scheme that you really like and you can be stuff that you have on your phone so um in the workshop i will go through a ton of different options that they have show you how they do um addressing the envelopes for you they'll even stamp and mail them so that takes away some of the big challenges there i'm offer gonna i'll also gonna be offering some of my tips for how to send holiday cards out efficiently because that process can be a big pain in the butt too. <laughs> Our Christmas list gets longer and longer every year because I just, I find so much value in connecting with my friends by sending them photos of our family and getting their photos back and really talking about just catching up every time something new comes in the mail. I feel like it's a great way to catch up and a reminder to catch up with your friends. So um, I've got a great um, tool that I use to collect email addresses and to keep them in order and to help make the process of stuffing, filling, sending, all that easier. I'm gonna share that in the workshop as well. Um, the other thing, I have showed you guys a million times, but I love these board books. They're like the greatest stocking stuffer gift for any family member ever. Like from kids to grandmas, it's like the way to go. Um, these things hold up to being chewed on, like slobbered all over. I think my dog has run away with it and it's been fine. These grow with the family and are a fun way for your kids to interact with your photo albums and to actually see something happen with your pictures from throughout the year. You can make this on your phone and you can also um, use pictures uploaded from your computer. Um, and I go through during the workshop, um, there'll be like a section on these board books and I walk through each type of board book. Um, so there's like the I can be board book, which you can make a story of your kid and inside of it, you're going to be choosing, um, one photo per page. So you can either choose to have different photos per image or just one photo throughout. And I'll give you some kind of tips and tricks for how I choose the pictures and how to find them quickly. Um, the other type of book that they make is an ABC book which has a little bit of a, this is like probably the longest one to make because you have to find um, a photo for each letter. So like I chose outside for O um, and P, he was a little prince. But like give, I give you like a running list of um, like alphabet with like, oh, I can't think of the word, an alphabet with different words that you might be finding in your photos that you can start searching on your phone to find these things quicker. Um, your phone has amazing built-in AI that you can type in a lot of things. Like I've actually typed in apple and found my kids eating an apple in a picture very quickly. So crazy stuff that you can do. Um, there's also like a first year book or a year in review book that you can make. Um, so you could make a year in review of 2021 and pick a photo from each month, or you can do one of your kid. Um, this is my children's baby books. I haven't done anything more fancy. So it's kind of fun that it's simple. I feel like I'm giving everybody in the world permission to just make it simpler and don't overthink it. So there's some real fun ways to have some interaction to this. Like I can compare my kids throughout the years. It's really cool. I think that um, grandparents would love this kind of gift too. Um, there's also storybooks you can create and ones with names and faces of your family. So um, we've had to really rely on this a lot this year and the last few years with um, the COVID times, especially because we're not seeing our family members. And this has been a really great way for my kids to put a name and a face together when they're talking to their family aside from FaceTime, of course, but it's been a really fun way to connect when you're not actually in person with anyone ever. <laughs> um, the other things, like I just wanted to show you, um, just to give you an idea of like what can be made. This is like a petite photo album. This is a hardcover um, and you can create any book with this. So it's hardcover, thick, thick, rigid pages. Um, which is awesome. You can add text, you can add photos, different layouts. It's really cool. I made this one as like another sort of baby book version for my daughter here. Um, and then they have a soft cover, but it's not one of those flimsy crappy ones. Like 
these pages are pretty thick and rigid, which I thought was so awesome. And they lay flat. I know I haven't seen this on the market. So I really like find this a super valuable album that people should really consider getting. I used it for like a Halloween thing to just to show off our Halloween costumes because I'm a crazy woman and I make a million Halloween costumes. So I had to do something with it to make it worth it. <laughs> so there's pictures and there's memories all in a book. So there's a great way to like wrap that all up into a fun little gift. Um, I did send this to my family last year um, that were all a part of the family Halloween costume. So that checked one gift off the book, uh, um, off the list. So that was pretty fun. They make these little small ones too. They're called petite itty bitty book or itty bitty books. <laughs> and they come in like three, three or four, maybe more um, different ways. So you can do a photo album. So it's like a mini pocket album that you can have. So you could put this in your pocket, give this as a brag book to the grandmas um, or just have it for your kids to hold. These can get tossed around in the diaper bag. They can go shoved into a stocking stuffer pretty easily. They're a really fun, easy, quick gift to take your photos and put them into something awesome. It just got like really dark out. That's it was crazy. Maybe winter's coming. <laughs> okay, the other things we've got here are like, this is another example of like the face in the hole kind of thing. So you would just take one picture is all it takes to make a photo gift that's actually really interactive and fun. Um, my son is already starting to learn. He's 18 months tomorrow, it's crazy. But he's already starting to learn colors from this and he loves seeing his little silly face in all of the, the pictures here. Um, and my daughter's got one here, like a book of animals that we put her in. She thinks it's hilarious because she's reading the book and she thinks it's so funny that Will is a cow or a lion. So it's a really fun book to watch them like feel like they're taking ownership of reading and talking, having a new way to interact with their little siblings. So these have been clutch. I love, they're very well loved in our family. Um, so I just wanted to show you that. And then here's like another example of like the bigger soft cover book. Like they, they can get pretty big, um, but it's awesome. These are great for family yearbooks. If you want to have something to give to your kids to put into their little treasure box of goodies for each year, you can make a soft cover one for them and a hard cover one for you. Um, or just stick with soft cover. Like these are such high quality. The picture printing is very beautiful. I don't know. I very highly recommend it. I just am so passionate about Pinhole Press because I've just spent all of my time just working with their products and loving their products. And I just feel like I want to share that with you guys because I spent many years going through Shutterfly stuff and not really being impressed with it and not liking how clunky their system was and really bothered me. So I feel like I finally have a little bit of peace having a system that works and um, I just want to share it with you. So those were like albums, cards. We got frames behind me. Do you want to see calendars? Let me see. Hang on. <laughs> um, what do we got? Literally guys, I made all of this. So like I know exactly how long this takes. I made every single one of these products. I chose all the pictures. Um, I've got the system down. I can't wait to show like to share it with you. Um, so they have this cool calendar called the perforated wall calendar. And it comes with, hang on, there's something else. It comes with this like silver frame that you can rip the page off. And when you're done, like it just bends up here and you rip it off and then it can go into this frame. So you have picture and calendar all in one. This is kind of awesome. Um, we used this a couple of years ago as our gift um, and it just can hang on the back of our basement door and I can quickly see a quick overview of what's happening in the, in the month, but then we have really fun little pictures that are added at the end. So um, highly recommend this. It's only one picture, so it's down to just 12 pictures that you need. So it's a pretty quick and easy gift that you can create uh, without having to think too much. And it makes your pictures look really good when it's just one. It's just some, it, I don't know. It, there's something really simple and beautiful about not over complicating things. <laughs> so I just like love to show that. Um, this is another one of their smaller wall calendar options. It's just one photo here, but I think, no, I think I made this one all with one photo here, but it does show you what like the size looks like in the pages. Um, you can do like a collage frame uh, on the cover. There's an option for that. Um, and then you can do different 
I think you can do up to three or four images in their different um, templates that they have, but there's not that many templates. It's not overwhelming. It's just a simple amount of like information for you. So it's not too much, which I loved because I used to get really overwhelmed by all the stickers and colors and different. There's so many different options on Shutterfly I found, which can be great, but I feel like it was like way too overwhelming for me. So I love that Pinhole has really kept it down to a minimalist, basic options like but really beautiful high quality awesome hanger so this is the one oh i like this one this is the like i think i should remember the size of this so there's i think this is the regular wall calendar and this is the large wall calendar so like you can see the difference in size we have the large wall calendar hanging up on our walls um this year i think i'm gonna stick with that size okay let me just flip a page for you <laughs> okay so just to show you the difference. So I like the sizes of these boxes here. Um, we can see this in our kitchen pretty far away, like what's going on with the dates. This is pretty great too. Just depend, like if you were at your desk and wanted it close by, that's not a bad size. Um, and the pictures are still pretty big. Like what's the size of my face? I don't know how big my face is. I should measure it. Maybe it's a standard. <laughs> okay. So there's those options. And then I'm going to show you um, this so there's a couple there's two more okay i go through all this on the, on the course but i just want to give you an idea what we're up to so they have like this like forever calendar they call it it's perpetual it works for many different years because there's no like set day and there's no set year so you can use this over and over again if you don't have a ton of pictures but you want to have a fun calendar on your desk like so you could change the picture every month if you want um, and the days and all that stuff. And they just kind of sit there. They have a color version too that's a little bit more um, wild and colorful. Um, but then there's this also this magnetic calendar that could stick on your fridge and you can pull off the, the sheets and it's kind of fun every month when it's done. <laughs> so um, yeah, the sheets just like tear off the top and you can have these pictures later if you wanna cut them out and save them for something else and not have it attached to the calendar which I think is another great way to reuse what you have and not have to just toss the calendar at the end of the year. Um, this thing shocked me, so I wanted to show it in person. This thing's huge. It's, this is their desk blotter calendar, um, and it's kind of awesome. Like, so this would sit, I'm behind. <laughs> this would sit on your desktop and you would write on top of it. And the paper is really thick, so if you're like me and you like fancy pens and just writing on really awesome paper, this is the way to go. So it's not, it's not super bendy, like there's a sound to it. You know, it's like poster board almost, like thick. Um, so I just think the quality is just so there and you're gonna get a huge ass discount and get to spend some time with me. So the whole holiday photo gift workshop will be run through your email. We're gonna have a private Facebook community where I am gonna hold you accountable to making your gifts and help you along the way. So if you have any questions or if you're stuck on any part of the process, I'm gonna be there to help you. We're gonna be showing up live, twice during the training um, to just pop in and check how things are going, answer any questions you have, and make sure that you get these holiday photo gifts made this year and you can check almost every single person off your list by the end of this workshop and that would feel pretty awesome because if you're anything like me, holiday gift shopping is the most stressful crap ever. I hate it. So this will check a lot of things off your list. So let me know if you have any questions. I am here for you and if you wanna sign up, just pop into the link in the bio and we'll get you started. Oh, last thing, there's a free planning workbook that's included with it and it has my whole process laid out. I give you a worksheet that you can start to really keep track of all of the gifts that you wanna make and any notes that you have as far as where your files are located. You can write down the names and the dates that you need and make sure that they're checked in all of the products that you make so that nobody's name is spelled wrong. Um, I've definitely done that where I've like spelled our holiday card name wrong and sent that out because once you get 200 of those, you're kind of screwed. <laughs> so this is just like a little checklist to really keep you in line when it comes to ordering the gifts as well. And I'm gonna also include my tips for organizing your photos at the end of it all and getting ready for next year so that it, this process continues to be something you can use over and over again and gets easier each time. Okay. So that's it. It was a lot of words and things and stuff, but thank you so much for joining me. If you have any questions, just let me know. I can't wait to see you there. Bye guys.